Unity has antagonized the entire game dev community a couple of days ago by announcing that they'll start charging an install fee of 20 cents to developers for every time their Unity game is installed on a device. A lot of developers have spent years learning this engine and putting their trust into this company and might be a few years into developing a game with Unity just to have the rug pulled out from under them. Even if they go back on this and abandon the install fee, I don't believe Unity will ever recover since the trust has been broken and the entire world has seen just how greedy they are. And there are so many more shady layers to this, such as their CEO selling shares shortly before the announcement and their repository that tracks terms of service changes being silently deleted. Understandably, a lot of Unity developers fear for their future and are now looking to switch to another game engine. The two most obvious choices that are mentioned the most are Godot and Unreal Engine. As somebody who has also started out with Unity and made the switch to Unreal Engine about 5 years ago, I believe I can give you some advice and make the transition a lot easier for you. Even before the whole install fee fiasco, there were already many good reasons to choose Unreal Engine over Unity. The number one being, Epic Games makes games, Unity doesn't. Epic Games as a company created many successful games, with the best example being Fortnite. Since they have first-hand experience of what it's like making AAA games with their own engine, they know what game developers are looking for and how they can make improvements to the engine. Many of the new features we get in Unreal Engine come directly from the tools they built to alleviate issues they were facing during the development of Fortnite. They're also the forerunners of new technology and are pushing the entire industry forward through things such as Nanite and Lumen. While Unity was always just playing catch up and not even doing a great job at that. Another big reason are blueprints, which is Unreal Engine's visual scripting solution. I believe in Unity you have your own solution called Bolt nowadays, but these aren't even comparable in quality. Unreal Engine has been doing blueprints for a very long time and they are by far the most sophisticated visual scripting solution I've ever seen. At first I was very skeptical and thought there's no way you can make a game without writing code. But we ended up making a full on VR game that we put out on Steam which was made only using blueprints. It's a pretty complex game too and basically has all of the features Call of Duty Zombies has. Even though we knew how to write code, only using blueprints allowed us to develop the game extremely fast and be able to make changes on the fly. Of course if you use C++ your games will run at a better frame rate and you're able to achieve better load times, but the development will take a lot longer, so it's always a trade off you gotta consider. However you can mix and match C++ and blueprints and actually create your own blueprint notes using C++. So I do recommend that you start out with blueprints first and get a really deep understanding before you jump into C++. I actually made a blueprint crash course which teaches you a lot about them in only 50 minutes, and at the end of it you'll know all of the basics. You'll know how to create pickups, how to communicate between blueprints, how to change values related to character movement and how to make stage gimmicks. But yeah, once you're at the point where you want to jump into C++, the transition from how easy it is to write C-sharp in Unity is gonna be quite harsh. Unreal Engine uses a lot of macros and specific data types that aren't available in base C++, so it takes a while to get used to the Unreal way of doing things. However, over the last year or so, we've seen better and better IDE support in Visual Studio 2022 and live coding now allows you to hot compile your code. So you don't have to sit there and wait for a long compilation process every time you write one line of code anymore. Another great thing about Unreal Engine is that it comes with a bunch of starter templates. And by this I don't mean just a couple of project settings being changed like it's the case with Unity. You actually get a full working third person character, a first person shooter or a car you can drive around as a starting point. And it's a lot easier to start making your game from that rather than starting from a completely blank canvas. You can actually quite easily create your own templates as well and I just recently made a couple for 2D and 2D 3D hybrid game creation. Which brings me to the next point not many people know about. You can actually make 2D and 2D 3D hybrid games with Unreal Engine and some great examples of this are Ender Lilies and Octopath Traveler. Of course we don't have as many advanced features as Unity does for 2D game creation, but the beauty of Unreal Engine is that you can create modules and add new functionality as plugins by yourself. This is what the free paper ZD plugin did to enable animation blueprint and anim notify support for sprites and became the best way of making 2D games with Unreal Engine. If you want to get started making 2D games, I actually created a full 12 hour course that takes you through the process of making 4 unique games that teach you all you need to know about Paper 2D and Paper ZD. But you'll also learn a lot about blueprints and how Unreal Engine works as a whole which you can then apply to 3D games as well. To welcome all of you former Unity developers, I set the course to the lowest price for the next 5 days. You can get it from the link in the description. Another great strength of Unreal Engine is that many components and systems are already replicated out of the box and ready for networked play. It's actually very easy to test a networked session in your project by just setting the player count to 2 before pressing on play. This will easily show you what's already replicated and which parts you have to put some extra work into. 
And of course, there are many more great things about Unreal Engine I could talk about, but I hope this was enough to encourage you to at least give Unreal Engine a try. I'll put the link to the Epic Games Launcher in the description, which is basically like your Unity Hub from which you can install different versions of Unreal Engine. Again, if you don't know where to start, I recommend my Blueprint Crash Course, which you can see on this end screen. As always, thanks to my awesome patrons.